God's Delight Jude is a 200-level electronics engineering student of the University of Nigeria, Nsuka. When he's not in school, he's in Joss learning from his father the practical aspects of his course, designing and producing inverters for sale. God's Delight says he first picked interest in electronics when he was in secondary school. Building on his curiosity, at the age of 17, he could already draw diagrams, print and design circuit boards. At 19 years and in the university, he finds himself on the same path, specializing in PCB, which means print on circuit board. There were a few projects my dad did that really caught my interest. Like the inverter for one, I saw how capable and efficient the inverter was and I picked interest in it. And sometimes I don't look at him when he designs on the computer and I'm fascinated from how you take a design from the computer and how you make it into an inverter. So those things, those big, big things really motivated me and piqued my interest and pushed me towards practicing it myself. Not too big. It's more like in school I read. Then when I have time, I practice what I read. So it's more like one and two for me. It's easier for me because that's what I study. So the more I do one, the more good I am in the other. So it's, it works hand in hand and they both elevate me in my general education. With different kinds of solar inverters made readily available in the market, what makes Joan Inverter stand out? Inverters firstly have protection. When you, for instance, accidentally in the house, two wires bridge, wrong connection, and you have a short circuit, normally inverters will go boom, like they will bridge and get spoiled. But an inverter is smart enough to notice that short circuit and off itself. So it does two things there. It offs itself and prevents other appliances from spoiling. So it prevents itself from spoiling, prevents other appliances from spoiling. So when it goes off, it gives a beep sound for some seconds. You need to check again if the short circuit is still there. If it's still there, it will remain off. So till you, ver till you verify the short circuit and you remove the wires that are touching, it will automatically come up again. The second thing that makes it different is this um, charge protection. It ensures that battery optimization is possible. Firstly, it um, elongates the span of the battery by regulating the use of the battery. So the inverter makes it in such a way that the charging does not go above the required voltage of the battery. It protects the battery by keeping it at a particular voltage, not allowing it to charge above a particular voltage and not allowing it to go below a particular voltage. With 70% of the materials used in production sourced locally in Nigeria and the remaining 30% which are more of programmables imported either from China or neighboring countries in Africa, God's Delight, like every other innovator, seeks an enabling environment to thrive. He highlights some of the hiccups he faces with his team. The equipment to use for producing the inverters because how it is now is we had to improvise with some of our equipment we designed some of the equipment ourselves and the equipment generally reduces our production rates it hinders us from mass producing so we had to improvise some equipment for mass producing make some ourselves and another problem we had was a suitable environment. You know these things like testing inverters, making them, it might be dangerous to other people. So we, don't, we didn't have a lab, stable lab, to, 
test run these inverters. So we usually take them home. We build somewhere in our house where we, after making the inverter, we test run them at home in a safe, safe, safer environment. The young entrepreneur says his dad has played a major role in the acquisition of his skills by practically engaging him and giving him access to equipment for use. You know, necessity is the mother of invention. This um, inverter project came into being when we had very bad light situation in the country. So we started with um, DC fluorescent production that you connect fluorescent direct to your battery and you get light. So at a point in time it was selling and people were patronizing it. So somebody came and met me and said, please, if you can do something, even if it is for just 30 minutes, that I will listen to the network news and the battery goes off, we will appreciate. So I went into research. So gradually we started with square wave inverter, they were not perfect, but they were working. Then gradually we were upgrading from square wave, we went to modify sine wave. They will now go to where we are now, which is the sine wave. So these are the controllers, these are boards, yes sir. I'm working on an inverter that you can use your phone and study the parameters of the inverter. You can use your phone and monitor the inverter even when you're at your workplace. You're monitoring the inverter with your phone. If the inverter has an issue, to locate where the issue is and send it to your phone. So from your phone, you can see the issue. If possible, you can rectify it with your phone without calling someone else calling an engineer to rectify it and if the problem is above what you can do with your phone you just forward the information to the engineer and the engineer goes around because the system will tell the engineer where the problem is so it's easier for him to locate the problem and fix it. God's Delight says although they currently lack the key equipment needed for mass production it says he looks forward to making solar energy affordable for every household in Nigeria.